Go ahead, Rangers. Make our day. We're going to blow you away. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting to do that. Okay. We're not talking Hi, baseball right now. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about fall. You know, that's the boys of summer, and, and, <laughs> and there's been a lot of talk about baseball. Let's talk about leaves themselves. So many falling right now. Why does a tree shed its leaves? That's a really good question. I know these things dry out, so they fall, but why does it shed its leaves? It's going into dormancy. So maples, ashes, lindens, all go into dormancy to protect themselves during the winter months for those cooler conditions. The reason why they change color is, of course, due to the shortness of days. The chlorophyll leaves the leaf, that's the green part, yes, yes. and then you start to get the beautiful color. So they fall and they make a big mess. They look so pretty, but right they now do. they are falling. There, there's nothing more fun than jumping into some leaves and having some fun as a kid. But when they're on your lawn, just like this here, okay. they're matted. And by being matted on the lawn itself, what's going to happen is during the winter months, they'll actually suffocate the lawn. It's like having a plastic bag over that area. What you want to do is make sure that you get them off. Or better yet, a lot of the times raking can cause a lot of stress on your back. There's so big areas that you have to do. Better yet, what I say is don't rake them. I say mow them. So mow taking, the leaves? Yeah. So if you get a lawnmower, and the lawnmower should have a mulching blade, take the bag off so you're just going to really mulch them away. The okay. TBAs are going to love me for this after I do this. <laughs> well, we're, we're about just, to create oh, a huge mess. Let's see if we oh, get this going. They actually planted it so it wouldn't work. So they no. Were, no. So by mulching over, you're just going to mulch them down. And then? What's happening is you can see how the, the leaves all of a sudden become little, little particles. Back into the soil, and it's going to be great. Let's say that you don't oh. want to mulch them. What you can do also with the leaves is you can take these, and after mulching them down or putting them through a shredder, they can be put into a perennial garden to insulate perennials, or even put on top of the soil in your gardens, and then in the spring they can be tilled in. This is perfect for compost to create compost. You can put them in your composter. There is one thing that you got to watch out for. Some leaves out there that may have a little sign of disease, and maybe we can take Blackened a look. Blackened spots or little white ones sometimes? Little black spots, or let's say that they look a little bit on the funky side. They just don't look right. Okay. If they have disease, especially if it was a fruit tree, what you want to do with those leaves is you want to get rid of them. You want to make sure that you clean that area up, you want to put them to the curb, and the reason for that is we don't want that disease to sit around. We want to keep it nice and clean. So the other part, too, is when it comes to breaking your leaves. You want to check up with your municipality and a lot of municipalities will take the paper bags but some are looking for clear bags. And a lot of them are collecting this week by the way because yeah. I know Alex and I had to clear ours for yeah. Tuesday. And this is a great little rake too. This yeah. Is a rake oh. that, see? <gasps> Twice the fun. Is that Twice why? Twice the fun and then you just go like this with the rake. It's called the Trex. Okay. And you just go like that and you put it in the bag and away you Very go. Very cool Frankie. So there's some tips with leaves. By Sometimes... the way, what is the point of this? And I'm going to ask you this for one yeah. question only. Right. When you see people blowing the leaves and then they blow it onto your lawn or the sidewalk or the road. Isn't that rude? Yeah, there's a lot of, you know what, maybe we should talk about leaf blowing yes. etiquette. I'll tell you on Frankie Flowers, I'll, I'll, I'll write a fun, fun blog over the next couple days like, on. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Here's Bob. Oh, look at this mess. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Frankie, happy Thanksgiving. And now you got to deal with my mess. I know. Some people out there just don't know when to blow. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Um, Kev, over to you. <laughs>